Now this family, you are rock. The only investor that we know that made sure we What's going on? What's going on? Good evening, everybody. Good evening, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Come on in. Y'all come on in. Welcome, everybody. That's also over there on uh, Clubhouse. If you guys are on Clubhouse, click the link at the top and you guys can join us live. Just give me a few seconds while I set up some stuff really quick. But yep, here we go. So again, if you are on uh, Clubhouse or anywhere else to where you're just able to hear us, by all means, make sure that you join us live on YouTube at Forced and Consultants. So again, welcome one and welcome all. And thank you all so much for being here. And welcome to the live podcast, Don't Wait to Be Great. So I'm Derek Forrest and I am your host tonight. And tonight I will probably be without Shay for a little while. Shay actually has a big meeting tonight. So wish her well with that. So you guys have me. So again, my name is Derek Forrest. I'm the owner and operator of Second Chance Housing. And that's my personal independent living facilities where we take people from homeless to hopeful and also the way that we create pathways out of homelessness. I'm also the founder and thought leader of Forested Consultants, where my family and I, my um, sister, my mom, my wife, my entire family, we go all over the world showing and teaching this concept of this shared housing model. In, in other words, what is an independent living facility? So that's what my whole life's work is. That's what some people say, right? What are you? What is your meaning in life, right? What do you do in life? When somebody asks me that, my whole meaning in life is to show and teach people a different area of real estate that most people are kind of not familiar with, right? When most people thinking of getting into real estate, most people are thinking about going and buying a house and just renting to a family. And by all means, I also do that, right? But again, tonight's title is what makes an independent living facility the best real estate model. So we truly believe that there's a lot of different reasons um, that we believe that it's the best model, but simply put, probably the best is that this model allows you not only to be in real estate and reap the benefits of that, but there's a social service aspect to this as well. So this is kind of a ministry, right? So I often tell people, again, this is not just the business where we're in real estate. This is a ministry where it allows us to take people from homeless to hopeful and people that otherwise, you know, would probably be homeless without your help. So we're serving the homeless, the displaced, the marginalized, right? We're blessed. And if you're watching this right now on, on your internet, in your comfortable house, you're blessed. But there's a lot of people that I'm housing each and every day and each and every week where there is no choice for, for them to live inside of a place until they meet us. A lot of people that live on the street, in the woods, they're doing this thing that, that's called couch surfing, where people are just going from friend to friend, place to place and things of that nature. But that's, again, where you walk and come in there. Because, again, today my job is to teach you guys how to start your own housing program, not a group home, not an assistant living facility. Right. Not an adult home daycare. This is going to teach you guys how to start your own housing program without the need for a license, without a need to own the property and without the need to pretend to be a nurse, a doctor or a CNA or any of that other stuff that we're not allowed to pretend that we are. This allows you to be who you are, do what we do, and you don't need a license. And part of the most important part, guys, you don't have to own the property. So right there is probably what stops most people from even getting into what we do. We noticed that a big part of what we're doing, man, and what stops people from even trying to get into anything similar to this is simply, again, thinking that you have to own the property. And some people are, again, thinking that you have to have a license. And neither one of those are true, guys. So I used to be a social worker, right? Barely making ends meet. And this was always my dream. Always wanted to help people. And I always want to be involved in real estate. So if you're live with, with us right now, you probably fit that same category. You probably like helping people. And you probably also want to one day be involved in real estate. So God is a genius in the way that we tell people now that God allowed us to combine real estate and social services together. So I'm no genius, guys, right? Nothing new, right? There's nothing under the sun that's new. So, you know, I literally saw something that was really bad and we literally just turned it over to something that now that is saving lives of people. And then again, on the side of the entrepreneur and the person like you all, you all are able to quit your job and do something more meaningful. Right. So I'm meeting and bumping into a lot of people that keep saying this phrase, Derek, I'm in real estate, but I either do Airbnb or some other kind of house rentals. But Derek, I want to do something more meaningful with my real estate. That's what a lot of people are, are, are saying now. So, again, that's you. Put either a thumbs up or, or type in the chat, me. Because again, I always dreamed to be in real estate and I always wanted to help people. So that's why I became a social worker anyway. So a lot of you guys are also like me. You got a heart for people. 
So we always tell people, man, if you got a heart for people, if you love God and if you happen to love real estate, this is the best thing going. There is nothing else greater that you can be in if you love God, love people, and love real estate, because that's exactly what this independent living facility model is. Again, it's a housing model that allows you to house people and where the adults are able to live and thrive without the need for medical staff and or oversight. So that right there is, is again, the cheat code to this whole model. In a regular group home model, guys, you, 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 know, you know, you need a license, right? You have to get permission from your government entities and your government agencies and ACA and DCF and all of these things, right? In fact, type in the chat if that's you, right? Whether you're live or you catch this on the replay, type the word me in the chat or me too if you thought that you needed a license to do to do this or if you thought that you had to own the property. Because again, that just simply what stops a lot of people. So again, thank y'all so much for allowing me to be here. I'm going to show y'all a lot of stuff tonight. We thrive off of questions. So if you guys got any questions or any concerns in terms of how we do this, make sure you let us know. Also, I hope that some of the people that we uh, sent a very special offer out to today, there's about 15 people that my team um, handpicked. I wasn't part of that, so I can't get blamed for it. But my team picked about 15 different people that they sent an amazing offer to. And um, I think I want to extend that tonight to probably about 10 more people. We'll talk a little bit about that here a little bit later. Alex, my assistant, is also in the room. So if you guys need anything from him, Alex, also um, remind me, Alex, in about probably 30 to 45 minutes, um, if we are going to extend that offer to about 10 more people, I want to make sure that we do that. Also, guys, everything that we'll talk about today is also in a more streamlined kind of format in terms of a, a PowerPoint and a, a presentation in a webinar. My assistant, Alex, literally just put that in the chat. So I want you guys to do that. And then the next step is to set up a free strategy call, because after you hear what you hear tonight, pretty much you're going to know within about five to 10 minutes if this is something that you want to do. But again, if you love God, love people, and if you love real estate, this is absolutely for you. So I also tell people to always put in the chat what city and state you're from, because you just never know in terms of who needs housing, who needs the real estate, who can rent you the real estate, um, and maybe who has the clients, maybe who's been the HRA the housing referral agent, and also maybe who's accepting the clients as the ILF provider. So I'll kind of kick that off. We're over in the Orlando area. And I also do business in several parts of Georgia, several parts of um, Ohio. So again, just go ahead and type into the chat what city and state that you guys are from. And again, back to, the, to, to tonight's topic, man. Independent living facilities are simply, again, a shared living environment where adults are able to live and thrive without the need for staff and or medical oversight. So it can look just like this. This is what the inside of maybe what one of our private room looks like. So again, in this model, there are three different kind of models actually kind of within this one. So one model obviously is the shared environment where there's two beds per room, right? And they're gonna share all the common areas. The next one is that uh, private model where there's one bed in the room, not two beds. But maybe this guy still shares the hallway bathroom, right? But then you got that private suite where this guy's got his own bed, but he also have his own bathroom. So that's the private suite. So again, shared is going to be the two beds per room. The private is going to be one bed per room. That can still be a twin bed, a full bed, or a queen bed. But they're still going to share the, all the common areas, such as the living room, the kitchen, and the bathroom. But that private suite, though, that's the one, that, again, guys, where they're going to have their own room and their own bathroom, and they don't have to share unless they just want to be nice to the somebody that lives there in the inside. So, again, if you're just joining us, we're talking about independent living facilities, which you can start literally without having a license and without having to buy the property. And again, this is a ministry. This is not just a business, right? So if you're thinking that this is just a business and it's just real estate, then you kind of got it wrong. That's kind of, again, what separates this from any other housing program. So we love to tell people, man, God is all over this. And again, if you love God, love people and love real estate, this is it. Because a traditional group home or an ALF, you got to have a license. You got to have a sprinkler system. And most of the time you have to own the property. So if you don't know my original story, guys, I was a poor social worker making $28,000 a year. 
And God showed me a lady that was making $41,000 a month housing people, but she was doing this model, what I'm showing you guys in rats and roaches. So again, guys, don't get it twisted. This isn't rocket science by any means, right? In terms of kind of how you set it up and how you get started. Now, where you really need the coaching and the training and the teaching is kind of when you really get in it, when you get the clients. Me and my big brother Otis used to always tell people, man, you really need us. And the game really starts is when you get the clients, not setting it up, not making it all pretty like what you see in these pictures, not hanging the pictures on the wall, Miss Angela. That's not the hard part of this. Janine, the hardest part of this is actually when you get the clients. So Janine, even you right now, right? You and Angela both are killing it with the HRA. And that's the housing referral agency. Man, that's the easiest model of housing people it is. Because when Janine refers somebody to me, Mr. Troy, Mr. James, or Dornico, Janine doesn't ever deal with that client. That's also the genius part about the HRA and why a lot of my older people like the HRA. They don't want to house these folks. They just want to be able to refer them to people like us and still make a referral fee. But Miss Angela, when the game really starts is when you get your first property in, in Orlando or Seminole County and you move in Tyrone, Brad, Jose, Raphael, and Malachi. That's when the game really starts in this. And that's where Forster Consultants is kind of where we really shine at. Because anybody can go and rent a house. Anybody can go and put the beds in it. Anybody can really even build the relationships with the social workers. But even there, a lot of people say the wrong stuff and they use the wrong verbiage, which often gets them turned away or gets them with no response when they call people or email people. The difference between Angela and both Janine, they know the verbiage. They've been around us so long now, and they both invested in themselves through products through us, and they have the coaching and the teaching, so they know what they're doing. So again, I'll say it again, Forced Consultants, we really shine it, really coaching and consulting you when you actually start getting the clients. But again, when people always ask us, what does it look like? This right here. And when people always say, well, Derek, what is the first step of getting started? You got to make a decision. I always kind of talk about this in more about one-on-one -on -one settings with, with people that do the outside like strategy calls. But the first step is you got to actually make a decision that this is something you want to do. You also can't be one of those people that change your mind every 13 minutes. Every new business that you see, you want to try it. Guess who's also kind of guilty of that? Me. If I see a good business model where I can make some money, I can help people, and God is going to ultimately be satisfied and happy about it, I kind of want to try it, but I'm so grateful. Me and Shay was just talking about this. I'm so grateful that we have this one thing that no matter what else we try or we ever try to do, Miss Angela, I'm always going to house the homeless. I'm always going to be involved in real estate. I'm always going to help people because I got a social worker's heart. That's the core of who I am. But that's also the other reason why we own seven other businesses. Digital Flow Solutions, VA 101. The Angela Denise Foundation, like all of these other things, qualified circle, all of these other businesses that we have. But with this one thing right here, you got to make a decision that this is something that you absolutely want to do. This is where I worked there for nine years, y'all, before the light bulb ever came on 206 Park Place Boulevard. I owe this place a lot of stuff, man. I saw a lot of stuff there. I learned a lot of stuff there. A lot of people were bashed their old job. I won't bash this place. I think I sat around one of the smartest uh, psychiatrists to ever do it by the name of Dr. Spicer. I think that was a real treat for me, Miss Tina. There is no way that I would understand and know the medications of mental health the way that I do today had I not sat under the doctor for nine years. Well, actually, if you want to be real, it was about five years. My first five years of that job, I was what they call a regular tech, a regular technician that just worked on the floor. Right. So as I got the job, as I got educated, when Shay tricked me to go to college and I got that degree and became the social worker, that's when, when I began to sit at treatment tables and work under the psychiatrists and the doctors and the nurses. And that's where I learned a lot of them, the, um, the medications from Miss Tina. But back to that first point when people say, well, Derek, 
because I'm very practical. I can give you step one through 10, one through fives, and one through threes on a bunch of stuff. But the first step, you just got to make a decision that this is something you want to do. This is your boy right here, y'all, as a social worker. Notice that first picture. Just like tonight, I kind of got on the tie, had a meeting today, so I'm a little fresh. But look at me on the other side. Still professional, but boy, boy my collar got a little loose, Janine. Miss Tina, see how my collar got a little loose and I'm growing a little beard now? Because, Tina, I'm starting to see the vision of what I'm really finna get ready to do for the rest of my life. No more me being a social worker. This is when I started to make a decision. And, and again, no disrespect to the Derek that was wearing the tie. Because I still did a great job here on the other side. But, y'all, I started to see the vision. I did what I just told y'all about, number one. I began to make a decision about what I wanted to do. I had a vision for this picture right here because by now, guys, I had already saw a lady that was doing this, housing people in rats and roaches, making $41,000 a month. Love for God forever. I see you in the chat. I saw a lady doing this, making $41,000 a month, and it'll break your heart because she was doing it in rats and roaches. Make sure you guys watch that webinar that my assistant literally just put in the chat again. After we done here tonight, go watch that webinar, y'all. It's about 50 minutes. It'll change your life. Watch it with your family, your pastor, your church, and your business partner. But again, making a decision. Right here is something else that some of y'all need to do. You need to put a finish line in front of you. I heard somebody else say that, and I just kind of like the way they, they said it. We all need to build a finish line in front of us. If y'all don't know this beautiful lady, that's my mom. Some of y'all know her as Mom Forston. We promised to retire my mom a little early and also buy her a car. And I'll admit, the first goal was just to buy mom a car. So that black car you see her standing in front of, that's the old car. Mom eventually donated that to Second Chance Housing. We was using that car to house people and drive people around and pick people up from the hospital. Even though I teach y'all that's not what we do. We hired a maintenance guy. That was his car. So every now and again, he did pick up people from the hospital on the day of discharge and drove them to the ILF. But one of the things that I did, I made a promise. I said, Mom, you know what? I'm not an NFL player. We may not be able to buy you a Mercedes Benz or a big mansion, but boy, we sure going to work on getting you another car. We thought this car was kind of, you know, not good enough for who my mom is. So we bought my mom a brand new car. Now, that may be small to some of y'all, but that was a big deal to us. And when I say us, I mean my sister and my brother, God rest his soul. If you're just meeting and learning who we are, my brother and I taught this together for years. My, my brother sadly passed away just, just past November. He's one of our co-founders. In fact, his birthday is coming up. Now, I've been not talking about that for too long because I'll start bursting out in tears. But our co-founder, Mr. Otis Forston, birthday is April 5th, and we're going to do something special Um, because I think it's on a Friday. So we'll make sure that we honor that and him and his legacy for sure that following Saturday, but probably even prior to that, maybe even do a special room that Friday. My team uh, let me know about that. But but again, back to that point, some of you all need to put a finish line in front of you. For me, that was just simply us buying my mom a car. Then we later on retired my mom, I want to say two years before she really would have re re retired, maybe three. And, and if she's here in the chat, she'll type it in. But my mom was going to retire, but it was like two or three head, two or three years ahead. We shortened that, guys. And it was all because I made a decision to get into something like this, what I'm teaching you all tonight. And this beautiful lady right here, I promise Shay that I said, Shay, if you marry me and give me the chance, I'll be the best husband you ever could imagine. And I'm going to retire you from your nine to five job. God bless the way both of these dreams came true, y'all. Shay used to work for Corporate America. And if you're new to us, that's my wife. Shay has a nonprofit organization by the name of the Angela Denise Foundation. Shay came home one day, y'all, crying. And Shay's not a crier. We knew then that that was kind of the ending of her job. And I began to get super busy. So I was like, Shay, I need some help. God worked that thing, got to where things at Shay's job started to crumble a little bit. It was like right before COVID came and shut the whole world down. And I said, Shay, I need your help. God is expanding this thing. And I'm like, this thing is getting crazy. So to make a long story short, again, I promised to retire my wife from her nine to five job and make her life easier. That was another finish line that I put in front of me. 
Some of y'all need to get an imaginary red strip of tape or that red strip of that finish line that's made out of felt and put it in front of you. Hey, Miss Joanne, some of y'all need to do that so that you got something to look forward to to kind of make that goal more attainable. And for some of y'all, it's going to be family, spouses, and children. Because I can't think of nothing else that would mean more to anybody else usually. So for me, my wife, first and foremost, because, you know, I'm married. Second of all, my mom, because I'm also still a mama's boy. See how them still go hand in hand? But I'm not going to prolong it, guys. Make a decision and also put a put something in front of you in terms of a finish line. Oh, and, and by the way, Scan is here. Because if you're real smart, you get these two books that I wrote. The first book is How to Start an Independent Living Facility in 10 Easy Steps. That's the first book I wrote when, when people said, Derek, this is impossible. Derek, you can never start a housing program without a license, bro. You must be crazy. Derek, you're going to have a program with no nurses, no doctors. And Derek, you a poor social worker. How are you going to buy a house? So instead of being a crab in a bucket, you got you, you all, when, when God and I made this happen, I put it in a book. The second book we wrote probably a year later, that's called I Have an ILF. Now what? What do I do now? That book is going to keep you out of jail, out the courtroom, and it's going to keep some money in your pocket. One more time, that second book is going to keep you out of trouble. It's going to keep you out of jail, right? And hopefully it's going to keep some money in your pocket because, again, anybody that kind of is being mentored by us, they're going to get that um, that um, accountant service from my accountant, the business maven. So Lynette's going to be helping you guys with that kind of stuff. So that goes into our one-on-one -on -one coaching but for only 97 bucks, that's the ebook bundle that can even get you started. When people say, again, Derek, what's the first steps of getting started? You guys can text the word ebook bundle to 407 326 0086 or just scan that QR code. And then the next step that when people say, well, Derek, how do I like get the word out? Advertise like crazy. See what it says on that screen there? And guys, this is what I'm advertising. I'm advertising that I provide affordable housing, and it looks like this. One of the things that I'm really proud of, guys, is, is, is to show people what it looked like. Social workers that I'm working around, they're used to rats and roaches and filth and dirty and grime. So when I show them these pictures, they almost can't believe that their clients are going to live this nice. And that's the way I always put it. So right back here again, how do I advertise it? First of all, advertise like crazy. I do things that will embarrass most people. Prime example, I always pick on my wife, Shay. Shay is not as outgoing as me when it comes to advertising. I'm the guy that while we're shopping in Walmart for whatever, for the ILF or grocery, guys, I'm dropping flyers by the milk, by the eggs, by the cheese, by the toasters, by the bicycles, by the toys, by the deodorant, by the underwear, by the socks by the Slim Fast, by the Advil. See where I'm going with that, ladies and gentlemen? Somebody type the word me if you see where I'm going with that because I think of it like this. This is a numbers game, ladies and gentlemen. If I'm trying to advertise who I am and what I do and that I provide housing, this is a numbers game, which means, Joanne, I can print or get printed from some shop probably 500 flyers for $40. So Joanne, I'm only looking for eight people to fill this four bed, two bath home. Does that make sense, everybody? Because somebody's not, somebody's not thinking of this the right way, guys. This is the numbers game. Here's the slide again. What does it look like? Imagine having this house right here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a three bed, one bath home. One bathroom. We get this question all the time. Derek, can I do it? It's only got one bathroom. Absolutely, you can. What are you thinking? They were in a shelter where they're sharing a bathroom with, with 98 other people. But again, if you don't know this life, you don't know that. So I often chuckle and laugh when people ask me, well, Derek, what if I got eight people and, uh, and only got two bathrooms? Well, where he just came from, it was 190 people in that shelter with eight bathrooms. Are you serious? So he comes to your place, Joanne. He's going to be like, wow, Joanne's place got two bathrooms and there's only six of us here? Man, he's going to think he hit the dat gum lottery. <laughs> See what I'm 
what I'm saying? So again, back to advertising and where I'm where where am I gonna do that at? Instagram, Facebook. I'm gonna start a YouTube channel talking about it, LinkedIn, X, formerly known as Twitter. One thing about us at Second Chance Housing Guys and at Forced Consultants, I'm hard to I'm hard to miss on social media. If people say that they can't find us, they're not looking. We're all over the place. And I assure of that because I have a virtual assistant team that posts on social media every day. Every day. So that's another way that we get the word out when people keep asking me, Derek, how do you get the word out? Guys, I'm giving y'all the, the uh, master class, especially my, 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 my newer people. And big shout out to the uh, Jones family. Very generic. Everybody's last name is Jones, but specifically the Jones family from uh, Sebring, Florida. Um, the Jones family and also to the, um, hopefully I say it right, Trexton, T-R-E-X-T-O-N, Trexton family. Big shout out to both of those families. They both have over 10 people that are watching this on a big screen TV. They're new to us. So the Trexton family and the Jones family, thank y'all so much for being here. And thank y'all for, for gathering a lot of people at one time in one place. I love that. They're doing a watch party. The Trexton family is a big church family. So again, if your pastor, your bishop, your church leadership don't know about this, introduce this model to them. Tell them about us. Have them join us on YouTube because all the needs come to your church anyway. But again, back to advertising it and back to the steps. And then step one, make a decision that this is what you want to do. Don't quit and don't give up. Hello, Katara. Okay. Step the next step, put a finish line in front of you. I think Janine said in the chat, she loved that, that analogy. What can you put in front of you as a finish line and say, man, I got to finish this race. My kids are my finish line. My husband is my finish line. My granddaughter is my finish line. My mom is my finish line. My sister with disability may be your finish line. I don't know what your finish line is. In fact, let's just have fun with it. Can somebody type into the chat, what is your finish line? What will motivate you to get into something like this and not quit and finish it? Come on, Angela Brooks, who always talks about her finish line. And I won't even say it. I'm going to let her put it in the chat. What is your finish line, ladies and gentlemen? And when we talk about those flyers, this is simply what my flyer looks like, not rocket science. And guess what? My virtual assistants made these. I'm not very techy, y'all. I don't do any of this stuff, really. But look how it's second chance housing. I gave a range of what I'm charging. Phone number, email address, website. And also examples of what it looks like. Allow us to provide your clients with a clean and safe living solution. Notice how I worded that. I'm wording that directly to the social worker and the case manager. I'm not really even talking to the client. If a client finds it, great. Because most of y'all have heard the story of, of the gentleman and saw that guy on my um, Instagram page who found my flyer by the eggs in Walmart. The eggs in Walmart, really, Derek? Yes. And if you look closely at the video, he's got a debit card in his hand by the name of Direct Express. That's how they get paid. This homeless population that y'all think don't have money but he also had a wad of money in his hand. Guys, he didn't know that living is something that I would provide that looks like this, that he can only pay $700 for that, and we pay the lights. We take care of the water, the cable, the Wi-Fi, internet, security system, door codes, camera system. Everything's on us, and they don't know it. And watch this. I teach y'all that we do not provide food. But what if I showed you a way that where you can get food dropped off at your place for free and you're not cooking it, but it's coming from a program? That's how we do that, ladies and gentlemen. And we like to call that under promise over deliver. So, Joanne, I'm going to always promote. And, Joanne, you better be doing the same thing, Joanne. You better not be telling these people you feeding them because you're not. But, Joanne, what if you found at your local church? That your church will drop it off for free and it's eggs, it's cheese, it's poultry, it's fish, it's cereal, it's milk, it's fruits, it's fresh vegetables. Joanne, you look like a superstar now. How crazy is that? So in what we do, especially at Second Chance Housing, I teach anybody that I coach. So here's some free game. 
Guys, we're going to always under-promise and over-deliver. And again, that's a fancy way to say that, hey, guys, we don't supply food. We do not supply food. We don't cook food. Oh, and by the way, we don't supply any food. But what if because of the relationship with my church, what if the relationship because of this community food pantry that I've created, they give me food for free? That's why nobody starves at Second Chance Housing. That's why nobody starves at the Angela Denise Foundation. Yeah, because most of the time, our clients are getting food pantry food, and then they all get what they call this food stipend or what a lot of pe 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 people call their food stamp card. So again, if you're just joining us, welcome to Forster Consultants. My name is Derek Forston. I'm just an old retired social worker that resigned from his job to get into the housing side for myself. God put it on my heart to house people. And I thought I needed a license. I thought I had to jump through hula hoops and call my government agencies and ACA and DCF. And all of that was not true. Because guys, I don't provide medication management. I don't provide transportation and I'm not providing food. Somebody's asking right now, Derek, how are you? What's the difference, Derek? You keep talking, but what's the difference? I just told you. If you, for, if you forget everything else, remember when you go tell this to somebody else, say, I just learned tonight that the reason why, y'all, I can start my housing program tomorrow, because Derek taught me tonight, I'm not administering medications. You can't do that if you're not a nurse or certified to do that. You're not supposed to be driving these people around. So I don't have an 18-passenger van where I'm providing transportation. And I don't have an industrial kitchen, Angela, where I'm cooking for these people. That's also where I'm going to get in trouble at. Those three areas, guys, is what caused a lot of people to get in trouble in this. When we get asked, Derek, how are people getting in trouble doing this? Pretending to be a nurse, trying to administer medications, using the wrong verbiage, trying to start a group home and is not licensed because it's ILF model. I don't need a license. Because I'm providing and I'm serving independent adults who are able to live and thrive. Remember this slide? The most important three words out of all of those examples that you see on the screen is thrive. Thrive means do well. That means they don't need my help. I'm not cooking nobody bologna sandwich. I'm not passing out medications. And I'm not driving people around. That's also what allows me to scale this business very fast. Meaning that I can get one. I can get two, I can get three, because remember, your job is to keep the lights on, keep the water running, keep the AC going in the summer, and keep the heater working in the winter. Your job is to keep the heat and the gas running, keep the roof over their head from leaking. If you can provide a house, a place that they can live, a property that looks like this, or this, or this, or that, you qualify. Because the only qualifications for this, ladies and gentlemen, if you love God, love people, and love real estate, you're in the right place. Let's take a break, and we'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, family? Just to let you know really quick, everything that you're listening to right now, I actually have it in a more structured way in a webinar. So when you guys get done here, go to forcedconsultants.com, click the tab that says webinars, and there's two webinars there. One is for you to be the actual ILF operator, meaning that you want to do it. And then the other one is the HRA. That stands for Housing Referral Agency, where you're able to take people from homeless to hopeful and you actually don't need the real estate. It stands for a Housing Referral Agency, and we call it a business in a box. But definitely go to ForsterConsultants.com, watch both of those webinars, then set up a free strategy call with me and my team, and let's see how we can get you started. Back to the show. All right, good stuff. And again, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're providing, a clean, safe living environment. I don't need a license. I don't have to own the property. Guys, you can rent or lease these properties. God has blessed us where we just purchased our first independent living facility to where we're going to house the homeless and the displaced. Now, we also own property where I house women and children, mom and dad and kids and Section 8 and all of that stuff. But in the ILF model, guys, it's for the single adult male or the single adult female also don't forget if you got questions if you got concerns type them into the chat because we love questions otherwise i can talk about this all day long again also if you're new to us i want to know about it 
So, and we also got a free gift for you. Or if you just been hanging around with us for a long time and you've never got anything free from us, we want to give you a gift. So I want you to text the word new, N-E-W to 407-326-0086. Again, if you're new to us or if you've never gotten that free gift, I want to gift you today. The day, the day and this week is Holy Week. So happy Holy Week to everybody. Happy uh, Good Friday on Friday to everybody. I'm doing that in advance. But again, I got a free gift for anybody that wants a free gift. And especially if you're new to us, just like when you go to a brand new church and they got that new gift for you, same thing here. So type, type the word new and text it to 407-326-0086. And then my team has a special gift that they want to give you. But back to the content, right? So again, an independent living facility, ladies and gentlemen, is an environment. It's a property. It's a mobile home. It's a three bed, two bath. It's a four bed, two bath. It's a one bed, one bath. It can be a mobile home. It can be a trailer. The point is, is that it's got to be clean. It's got to be presentable. And we're not going to do like the lady that I saw doing this many years ago, housing people in rats and roaches. We're not doing that. These are God's people. And one day we're all going to be held accountable for how we treated them. So watch this. If you're new to us, you've never heard this. My older people, they probably get tired of me saying it. But this is something that we live by. And I hope that you take this on for your life or you can add on to it. But no matter what we do in life, especially this, but no matter what, we want to please God. We want to help people. We want to be respected by our community while we're doing it. And I want to make a bunch of money building the kingdom of heaven. Because God said, if I build the kingdom, if I focus on the heaven and all of his plans and put God's will before mine and help his people, all of these things will be added unto me. So I always tell people, this is a not just a business, y'all. It's a ministry. So can you imagine having a job or a business to where the blessing of God was already built into it? That's what this is. I'm no pastor. I'm no bishop. And I'm no priest. But the Bible says the poor and needy will always be among us. It also says that we are to take care of the poor, the needy, and the widow. And guys, that's what we're doing, and we're doing it through real estate. And again, for the people that are always asking, this is what it looks like. For 90% of the time, it's going to be two beds per room. Probably one to 3% of the time, it's going to be three beds in that room because some of these master bedrooms are just so large. And to answer a question that I see in the chat right now, can you do this in a tiny home? Absolutely. There is not a model of a home that you can show me that we can't do this in as long as there's adequate roof coverage, the AC is running, the heater is working, the water and the plumbing is working with no rats and roaches. If you can provide that, I don't care what kind of setting this goes in because we're moving people from homeless to hopeful, maybe from the woods to that tiny home. Maybe from the street behind a dumpster to the tiny home. So lover of God, absolutely. You can do this in pretty much any kind of a property that you can imagine, right? Because again, the goal is that we're taking people from the shelter, from the street, from broken situations. We love the women that are being battered by domestic violence. We love to take them from that situation. We hate what they're going through. So let me preface that. But we love to be a part of the healing process. No different when I told you guys on Saturday when I broke down crying at the end, telling you guys that a gentleman that we're housing right now told me just not even five days ago that he was cured of cancer. Now, first of all, I'm no doctor, so I didn't have anything to do with that. And I'm not Jesus Christ. I didn't heal him. But I would love to believe that God allowed us to provide the housing in a clean, safe, affordable place so that he can continue the chemo. Hard to do chemo treatment, guys, when you're on the street. So when we got the phone call, it's like, Derek, if you don't house this guy and it don't work for you, he's going to be on the street. He got to figure this chemo thing out on his own. Mm -mm -mm. The devil is a liar. Not if he's stable, medication compliant, and just a generally good human being, he's going to come live in my place. These are the epitome of the kind of people that we're housing. So again, think about that. Think how honored I am to play a role in that. When a gentleman moves into my place, and guys, trust me, this is what I would consider a newer guy to us. He hadn't been that round 
he hadn't been alone, been, been around that long. He's probably not even on month three yet. That's how new he is to us. Came to us with cancer, throat cancer, told me Friday, I think it was Friday or Thursday of last week, Derek, I'm cancer free. Thank you, Jesus. That's why we do this, y'all. And I can give y'all story after story after story. But that's the one that resonates right now. Somebody that I'm housing is now cancer free. Just like I always tell you guys, I take no credit for any of that. I just thank God that he allowed me to partner with him so that he can be healed of cancer. So when you guys are praying at night that this is something that you want to do, don't just pray for the thing and the business. Pray ahead for the people that you haven't even met yet. Why can I tell you that? Because I'm already in it now. I didn't think that way, so I'm going to change your prayer now. Because God loves prayers like that that don't really involve you, but you're interceding and praying for other people. How powerful is that, right? God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you give me the strength, the knowledge, and the understanding, and the properties to house your people. God, I pray right now for James, Paul, Shirley, Lisa, whatever their names are. They're somewhere right now, but God, for such a pointed time as this, you're going to allow me to get into it, and God, you're going to merge us together. God, help me help your people in Jesus' name. What a prayer. See how unselfish that prayer world was? Nothing about that prayer said me, me, God, me, me, me. It talked about the fellow man. And that's how you see the hand of God move in your life is when you're helping other people. That's why I said this is a ministry, y'all. And that's why I said also the financial blessing is built into it. That girl that I saw making $41,000 a month doing this, she didn't have to mistreat those people to make that kind of money. Obviously, right? So can you imagine what I said in my mind? I said, wow, this lady is making $41,000 a month doing this. I said, here I am begging God to save my life financially, and I'm making $28,000 a year. I almost fainted when she showed me her cell phone of how much money she was making. But the day I went to her house, houses, and I saw all the rats, the roaches, the people that were living on the floor, sleeping on the floor, not even a mattress. It broke my heart. And I said, God, you are no respecter person. You love that girl just like you love me. But God, she mistreating your people. God, if you would let me get in it, not only would I do people the right way, God, I'll teach it to other people. Because, see, if you knew to us, you don't know this, but people hear this from me. I was the social worker working in the hospital for nine years referring these people out. I was the honeypot. I was the golden goose, as they would say. But I didn't know it. Joanne, can you imagine that? Joanne, I was the golden goose and didn't even know it. Janine, you ever felt like before your life that you was the honeypot or you was the golden goose? Like, people were, like, taking advantage of you, but it took a long time to realize it. That's what I felt like. I was like, wow, I want to do this. And they're hiding it from me. But look at the pictures that I'm showing you right now. This is what we turned it into. So that's what I tell people. I take no credit. God is good and I'm no genius. This is what I'm talking about. I did only what I saw this lady doing, but I put my own twist on it. And we turned it into a more of a program-based setting. So you got people that rent rooms and you got people like us, me and Miss Joanne. We run programs. Joanne don't rent rooms to people. Joanne, can you type into the chat, what do you do? She's a housing provider. She runs an independent living facility that takes people from homeless to hopeful. Joanne creates pathways out of homelessness. Now, those are all my slogans. I don't know what Joanne's slogan is. She'll type it in, 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 in the chat. But that's what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen. And Joanne didn't have to go be a preacher or go and get some microphone to go stand on some podium to say that she's got a ministry. Now, here's a joke. Growing up, half of my family said, boy, that boy, Derek, he going to be a preacher. That boy going to preach. That boy going to be a preacher, y'all. He going to be just like his uncle. Y'all ain't going to be no preacher. I ain't going to have no church. Nobody's going to give me their microphone on no podium that I know of. But guess what I will always do? I will always pro proclaim that Jesus is Lord. God is everything. Without him, there's nothing possible. He's the reason that warm blood is running through our veins and we're breathing the breath of life because of him. 
Without God, there's nothing that's possible, but through him, all things are possible. I love God. I love people. And guys, I just happen to love real estate. And God is so genius, not me. God is genius enough where he allowed all of those things to be blended together. Real estate and social services, because this is all this is. As beautiful as, the, as these pictures are, all this is, is real estate combined with social services. Now, right here, I talked about this a little bit on Saturday, and I'm going to try to breeze across this, but this is kind of some of the special things that you're able to do once you get, get started. My wife, who's not here tonight, has the Angela Denise Foundation. Usually, once a year, her women get some kind of special treatment, spa treatment, hair, nails. It, 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 it could be pedicure, manicure. I think that, that's hair and nails, right? I'm a guy, y'all, so you know, take your time with me. But pedicure, manicure, makeup. Now, y'all know we joke and we laugh and we play a lot, right? But I want to be serious for, for two seconds. You know how good it feels to give a lady that's never had a pedicure ever in her life her first pedicure? You know what it feels like for a lady that's never had a makeup or have her face made up with, with makeup, eyelashes, eyebrows, eye blush, eyeshadow? You know what that feels like to do that for somebody? That's what the Angela Denise Foundation does. Okay. We invited and brought services into them. Some of these women have never had a massage. Can you imagine what they felt like? And most of these women, I hate to say it, had back problems. Can you imagine what they felt like when we brought in, big shout out to um, Harmony and Flo, big shout out to Miss Florence who does a heck of a massage, trust me. You know what this feels like when they break down and start crying and start pouring their heart. I say, Shay, I've never had a massage. Shay, I never had a women's day. Shay, I never had in anybody speak into my life the way you guys did. I never had in anybody take their time out to do any of this. Shay, I never had a real massage from a real person. These are the things that we're talking about, guys. Oh, and by the way, y'all y'all know I hopped in there. Y'all see me in there in my burgundy shirt. Y'all know I jumped in there. But can you imagine what that lady felt like who had back problems, neck problems, and got this massage that they didn't have to pay for? Wow. Wow. Now, I'm going to mess these words up, but I don't know what you call that thing that you put the oil in and then the smoke go in the air and it cleanses your nasal passage. That was going on. Soft music. They read poems. I struggle with that word. Poems. P-O-E-M-S poems but everything was based around calm serenity the grace of god and what are we grateful for these are the kind of things guys that you're able to do here's year number two this is a spa day this is the day and the year that shade them did the makeup now this was a separate year i think the massage was year one i think that was the first annual spa day they'll correct me if i'm wrong if she's in here i'm not sure but this, uh, these are women right here that have never had makeup on their face, Janine. Never had lip gloss on their lips, Angela. Some of y'all get y'all nails done every two weeks. Some of y'all get y'all feet done every two weeks religiously, Joanne. Some of y'all have a date night where you do get a chance to dress up and go somewhere. These women don't. Battered women. Women that have been through domestic violence, boyfriends that beat them up, moms that kick them out. This is after their makeup session, after their hair was done and blow dried. These are all the things that they were able to do because of the Angela Denise Foundation. And it goes back to that one slide where I told you guys, you got to make a decision. Now, I'll admit, even though Shay still had to make a decision, when I saw my wife come home crying, oh, I made a decision too. I said, Shay, that's it for that job. I need your help, and God would love it if we work together every day because we won. So he was like, well, Derek, what I'm going to do? I said, well, Shay, congratulations to you. You housing these women now. I am no longer housing women as of today. Congratulations, Derek. <laughs> that's kind of what I told Shay. And guys, that day, and this is what we mean by move at the speed of instruction. Shay came home crying. We pouted together for about 30 minutes. 
we took out a legal pad. I'll never forget this. And we formed the Angela Denise Foundation on paper. Come on, somebody. We formed it on paper first before it ever became a reality. But remember the saying that I always talk about, let's move at the speed of instruction. That's what that means, ladies and gentlemen. We moved at the speed of instruction to get this done. Because there were women that were already waiting on Shay to be served. Remember what I just told y'all earlier about six minutes and 32 seconds ago? I said that it would be nice because I don't like to tell people what, what to do. I asked you all to pray to God and say, God, there's people that are already waiting on your timing for me to get into this. You've already got a set appointed people for me to house. God, make the timing come true. God, release every resource that you have for me to make it come possible. God, allow my hands to be the hands and feet of Jesus to do your work through real estate. And these are the prayers that I, I, I pray constantly. And that's why I think or know now that that's how this last real estate deal fell in my lap. I said, God, we get all of these calls. I need some real estate. And God, I'm tired of renting. You said that we should own land and own real estate. We should always be the renter. We should be, be the owner, not always the borrower, but the lender sometimes. Now, these ain't like crazy, prophetic, down, like, oh my God, kind of prayers. It's just me and God talking. God, I desire to do your will. What's going on, Mary? God, I desire to do your will. And God, I want to do it through real estate. Because you say, God, the poor and needy will always be among us. And I learned through Forster Consultants that homeless people are going to be discharged from a hospital every day, God. Derek teaching how to do it. So, God, if you see fit for Derek to be my coach, God, make the way easy. I told you guys over 30 minutes ago that my team sent out an invitation to over 15 people, right? And I'll just say it now, right? I'm all ready here. Um. We gave a crazy, I'll just call it a Holy Week sale, right? So this is Holy Week, um, and in reference to that, but also just want to be a blessing to people. Um, We've already discounted that ILF Mastery Blueprint in a crazy way with that discount, but um, 15 people got an invite today for only $59.97. So instead of the fifteen grand or the $7,500, 15 people and you guys i think they only gave two weeks to respond to that or like seven days i can't even remember you guys get that ilf mastery blueprint for only 59.97 which means five thousand nine hundred and ninety seven dollars and that's a long way from that 15 grand that's even a long way from the um the actual 7500 which a lot of people are very grateful for but i also want to extend that so alex if I'm able to do that, Alex, for about 10 more people, is there a certain trigger word or something that they should type in, Alex? Or how can I give 10 more people with that same deal? So again, if you're new to us, you may have no clue what I'm talking about. Our one-on-one -on -one coaching is called our ILF Mastery Blueprint. Um, and it's been 15 grand for a while. But for also a while now, we've had a scholarship that brings it to 7,500. We also have payment plans, third-party finance, and all of that stuff. But my team handpicked 15 people today and literally sent that out. I'll admit, I really don't know who all of you are. So if you got that email, congratulations. I think it also came as a text message. If you're not able to do it for whatever reason, I would really appreciate knowing that. That way we can refurbish that deal to somebody else. But I want to extend tonight. I want to extend that deal to 10 more people. And we're doing that at $59.97. And we're giving people, I think it's 10 to 14 days to act on that. So congratulations. So if that's something that you wanted, if you've gotten that email, first of all, congratulations, because you guys were handpicked. But for the first 10 people that respond to what I'm saying right now, and let me check the chat for Alex, because I'm not sure what Alex did. Let's see. Oh, he see, he's already created it. So if you're a part of our Tuesday rooms, you already know what that whole trigger word does and all of that. So if you want to be one of the 10, that get that crazy Holy Week sale just in reverence of Holy Week. And for us just to say, we appreciate you. So for some reason, they picked those first 15 people for an appreciation. I want to do that on YouTube. So I appreciate you guys that follow us, that, 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 that are moving at the speed of instruction. So again, I'm extending that to 10 more people. 
If you want our one-on-one -on -one coaching, the ILF Mastery Blueprint, which comes with so much stuff, it's hard to name it all. Make sure you type the word Easter to 407-326-0086. Alex also put it in the chat for me. Again, if you want that crazy sale for that ILF Mastery Blueprint for the Holy Week sale, and also just to say thank you for being who you are, text the word Easter to 407-326-0086. And then just again, one last favor. If you're one of those 15 people that did get it already, and for whatever reason, you're not able to move forward, please let us know just simply by, by saying, Derek, at this time, I can't take advantage of it or something like that so that we can refurbish it because I want everybody to take advantage of that. And I don't want to leave it out there. So if you're not able to do it, just let us know. Other than that, if you're just joining us and you're new to us, we're showing people how we take folks from homeless to hopeful and we do it in an environment that looks like this. It, it, it can be a single family home that looks like this. And we're going to connect with social workers and case managers. So that's the funnel system. And guys, I, as you can see, I'm breaking all of this down right now. So can you imagine what the one-on-one -on -one coaching is like? Because as you can see, there's no stingy energy here whatsoever. I'm literally giving y'all the game. But again, this is what it looks like. And again, this is a shared living environment, better known as an independent living facility. And again, this is where we take people from homeless to hopeful, and it doesn't require a license. You don't have to buy the property. And again, the funnel system to get the clients or the residents are case managers, social workers that reside in a social service setting. So your Goodwills, your Salvation Army. I'm housing a 72-year-old female tomorrow because the call started from the Salvation Army. They called the Christian Service Center. Christian Service Center called Matthew's Hope. Matthew's Hope called us. We're going to be housing that lady. See how many people tried to, but they just couldn't for whatever reason. But look how they also be, became a housing referral agency in terms of what I teach you guys on Saturdays. Now, they're not going to charge a referral fee, but that's essentially how the HRA works. If you refer somebody out and I take that person, and they move in, I owe you a referral fee. So if you have no clue what that is, <laughs> you need to make sure you join us every uh, Saturday. Or just go on YouTube and watch all of our replays. Every live that we always do for the last few years, it's all recorded, y'all. So when you go on YouTube at Forster Consultants, you guys can hit that tab that says live and watch anything that we've done in the past. Also, if you're new to us now or if you haven't done it yet, go ahead, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you never miss this content and you will always get a notification that we're on. So subscribe, like it, share it, and turn on that notification bell. That way you never miss us. And again, that Holy Week sale is going to go on for about 10 to 14 days. Text the word Easter to 407-326-0086. I see some coming in already on my phone because they got it tied to, to my phone. So thank you for the people that are moving at the speed of instruction. And again, the only the first 10. And again, if you're listening and you're a part of that 15 and you can't move forward, just let us know. No problem. All right. So any questions or any concerns before I go any further? I got a little bit more to go. We usually close at around 7.30, but I would just want to check for any questions, any concerns before we go, or, or excuse me, or, or before I can continue. So actually, let's take a, a lunch break real quick, and I'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, family? Have you ever imagined starting your own housing program? That's probably why you're here. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, like you're kind of getting right now, but in a more of a one-on-one -on -one setting, just you and I, that's our ILF Mastery Blueprint. There's a number that they're scrolling below on this screen right now. If you text the word scholarship to that phone number, my team is going to get you some information. So first of all, I'm going to say congratulations and thank you for moving at the speed of instruction. We look forward to working with you. And again, this is only for people that desire our one-on-one -on -one coaching, which is designed to watch you succeed from going from a zero to a hero when it comes to information and knowing how to implement this independent living facility model without any mistakes. That's most important. So again, our ILF Mastery Blueprint, guys, there's a scholarship that's available for it that'll slice the price in half, which is also a no-brainer. So again, if you've ever desired to start your own housing program, but you thought you needed a license, you don't. You thought you had to be a nurse, you don't. You thought you had to own the property, you don't. Consider our ILF Mastery Blueprint where we are going to take you to success 
and let God use you in your community, housing the homeless and the displaced. Let's get back to the show. All right, good stuff, good stuff. So you guys heard the guy, man. That's the ILF Mastery Blueprint, and that's our one-on-one coaching where we hold your hand. So here's a question that I see on screen. Would this be considered transitional living or SRO? Um, A little bit, right? So depending on who you're talking to, um, we're very careful with that word transitional living because, again, depending on who I'm speaking to and what kind of setting they're coming from, I don't want them to think that I'm offering some kind of sober living or 12-step program. So, again, there's nothing kind of wrong with calling it transitional living because, after all, it kind of is. But in the world of what this is and depending on what hospital, what social service setting you're, you're, you're speaking to or what kind of case manager is calling you, the word transitional may actually lead them to believe maybe you run a sober living or a 12-step program that's kind of trying to keep people off of drugs. But the general concept, I'll say yes, very similar. And if you mean single room occupancy, um, occupancy um, by SRO, absolutely kind of the same thing again. So even uh, Section 8 is kind of going to that in certain areas now to where they're allowing the SRO, which again stands for single room occupancy, okay, which is very similar to what our military veterans with the program that they come from sometime, not the ones that get their own SSI or SSDI, but sometimes when they come through that HUD VASH program, they don't allow them to share a room like what you see on screen. They need their own apartment, their own private room, right? Um, or something where they're not sharing with somebody else. Usually that's how that works. Um, another question says, how would it work for mentally ill individuals who require medication management? That actually wouldn't work. Um, I can give you two ways of how maybe it can. But the bottom line to our teaching is that our clients must be independent and medication compliant, which that's what independent means for us. So remember, independent for us means they're able to take their own meds, provide their own transportation, right, and cook their own food. So if they require medication management, they're not a good fit for a program like this. So if you're learning this model from us, I'm going to teach you that if you get a phone call from a social worker, he say, hey, Miss, um, I don't know your name right now, so I'll just say Miss Tonya. Hey, Miss Tonya, got this great guy. His name is Bill Jones. We're going to discharge him tomorrow. Can it, can you interview him to see if you'll accept him into your program? Oh, and by the way, um, he don't know when to take his own meds, but he's good with everything else. But he needs medication reminders. I'm going to tell you right now, depending on what his diagnosis is, he's not a good fit for my program if he's not medication compliant or needs medication reminders. He needs what I would call a higher level of treatment, okay? An ALF, a, a, a adult family home care, or something in a setting where somebody's given his medications, hopefully by a nurse or a trained LPN or a trained CNA, right? So I'm none of those. So I don't pretend to be because, again, that's what gets people in trouble. So we only serve people that are independent. So that's the whole model with the ILF independent living facility but great questions i love it keep the questions coming how do you avoid squatters hopefully we don't let them in <laughs> so ritzy luxury um no other way to avoid squatters than just not letting them in or if you're talking about once i get a person and they just squat and don't pay rent that's just a normal eviction process so that's a great question if that's what you're meaning and clarify it for me if it's not but yeah, just because this is an ILF or a program, no difference in how I'm going to deal with, with that eviction. So in this room that you see right now, if the guy on the left decides to stop paying rent, there are certain steps that we're going to take, right? But eventually, if I have to discharge him is what we call it, I'm going to evict him the regular way according to how my state, my city, and my county does it. So when we're training and teaching people, we teach you to follow the rules of your city because I guarantee you every one of the cities and states that you all live in have a portal. My wife taught me this. Shay is really good at that eviction process. In fact, Shay deals with it. I don't. But every city, every state, every county, you guys have a portal and everything starts from there. It could be a three day notice. It could be a five day notice. Again, just depends on where you live at. But great question. Great question. That's a regular eviction for us. Nothing different. Yep, he said once they get in. He said, yep, got it. Or she, I'm not sure who, who that is. Hey, Katara. 
what's going on ritzy luxury so again if you guys are new to us and this is your first time here type the word new to the number that you see scrolling across the bottom of that screen and we got a free gift for you that just enhance your learning and just give you more teachers and trainers of things that we want to make sure you know about so again if you're new to us or if you've just never gotten that free gift i don't care if you've been around us for five years and you on every live if you've never received that free gift we want you to have it too <laughs> okay and also for my people that's been around a long time like katara um who else is here angelo people that wouldn't need this janine mary you guys are used to me and otis right but just here i think yesterday or today they uploaded the new webinar which is just me now so you guys can also watch that even though you're veterans now you guys still feel free to sign up for the new webinar because it's brand new now so most of you all that have been around a long time, you remember me and my brother always doing it together. So again, God bless him. But my brother passed away this past November. So our co-founder Otis, he watches us from heaven now, right? So he just kind of, you know, makes sure that we're, we're still doing it the, the right way and we're doing it with integrity. So big shout out to my brother, man. May he rest in peace. Yeah, so Rizzy Luxury, if you're new, go ahead and type in the word new and text that, I mean, to 407. 326-0086. And we got a free gift for you. And by the way, Ritzy, man, any questions that, that you have, not sure, not sure how long you, you've been here, but essentially, man, what you see on the, this screen, this is not a group home. This is an independent living facility or a shared living environment, or some people even using that term co-living now, right? I don't hate it. I kind of like it. But we have trademarked independent living facilities. So the ILF model, if you hear anybody else saying that, they just saying it. We actually have trademarked it. So if you go to the USPTO and look it up, you'll see my name and my wife's name right next to it, along with Second Chance Housing. So I've also um, trademarked my housing program. Not sure if I ever, ever told you all that. Congratulations to me. So that's my idea for all of you all. I'm going to say kind of, sort of, no rush. But I would love to see all of you, especially if you're an I Love Master Blueprint member, I would love to see you all trademark your own name. You just never know what that could bring in, in terms of, what's that word? Um, There's a word, uh, not merchandising, but it, it's almost like, what if Walmart wanted to create a shirt or if they liked the phrase second chance housing and they wanted to sell it in Walmart? I can get this forget the word but it allows me to sell those shirts in walmart and they can't use the word second chance housing without my permission so that's how that works <laughs> so you just never know guys and again i didn't want anybody to try to take claim on it because again most people that do the ilf as they call it don't do it the way that we do so we're gonna make sure that we brand it and market it the way that we do it that's why shay and my team is also building the network and the association for independent living facility. So the same way that the ALF is respected by the world in America, the ILF will also be one day. You, you can laugh if you want to. They laughed at me when I told them I was going to start this seven years ago. Derek, you can't start no group home without a license. Well, first of all, I'm not going to call it a group home, bro. Y'all should have heard me arguing with people. <laughs> but anyway, to all of my new people, man, again, just one more time. This is a housing model where you're able to house people, whether that's the homeless or, or the displaced. They can come from a hospital setting, social service setting, or what we're getting a lot lately is the working individual. So the guy that works at McDonald's, the guy that works at Outback Steakhouse, the guy that's a substitute school teacher. Okay. So let's see. Next question was, do you have trademarking in the course material? Um, That's Uriah. In the course material, no, but I can give you who done mine. So my lawyer did it, but um, I didn't kind of go over anything in terms of, because again, I, didn't, I don't know anything about it other than just asking for it and getting it. So I'm not like teaching that or anything of that nature. That's what you're asking, Uriah. But my lawyer... He did that for us. She actually recommended it and done it. It took about 19 months. So Second Chance Housing took about 15 months, about 13. Well, Second Chance Housing was actually quicker. And if Shay can remind me if I'm slipping, Second Chance Housing took about 12 to 
14 months, but Forster Consultants took um 19 months, a long time to get it trademarked because how serious the word is and how it's kind of being used by some people, but not really. And people don't have really the permission to use it, but now we own it. So I'm super proud of that because a lot of people laughed at us. So again, for like people like Ritzy Luxury who don't know me really, right? I saw a lady making 41 grand a year, bro, doing this, but she was housing people in rats and roaches. So literally what you see me doing, bro, is something that I saw somebody doing, but we put our own twist on it. And the version that we do doesn't require a license, right? So each bed in that room that you're looking at right there for us, that could be 700, 700 and 700. So a master bedroom for me brings back $2,100. That's why a lot of people call this real estate on steroids when they run into us. Now, I'll admit, uh, big bro or ma'am, I, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if that's a male or female, but Ritzy Luxury, I don't call it that. We don't call it that, but a lot of people that run into us and they realize what this is, and wow, he takes one house and rents to multiple people. Yes, because the people that we serve, they can't afford to buy their own house. They, 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 they can't afford an apartment. And a lot of times they can't even afford their own private room. So we offer this thing called a shared living environment. And my uh, assistant, Alex, is putting some links in the chat. We also offer financing, third-party financing, in-party, um, I mean, in-house financing. So we give a lot of ways to get into this, but we also teach it for free every Monday. So my promise to God many years ago, I said, God, if you let me get into this, God, if you let me quit my job, God, I go all over the world teaching it and I'll take no credit. So whether anybody buys a, a product or a book from me, I'm going to teach this every Monday. We're going to come back every Tuesday at 6 and we're coming back again every Saturday at 10 a.m. So if you're new to us, this is just what we do. But if this is really what God has put on your heart and you want to get into it and not make mistakes, that's our one-on-one -on -one coaching. And, that, and that's that ILF Mastery Blueprint. And that's what we want most people to get, right? So really quick, any more questions, any more concerns? I got a couple more slides, but I also want you guys to hear from David and Dennis. They got a word for you guys. Check out these two guys. Hey, David, did you know that you can start your own housing program and it doesn't require you for you to own the property and you do not need a license? So how in the world would you do that? I was always told that you had to own the property and that there was always some kind of special license that you had to get from your city to do this. People always told me that there was lots of red tape to jump through. So you mean to tell me these are also not group homes? It's actually simple. They're called independent living facilities and Forster Consultants actually created it. They hold the trademark for it. So I follow them religiously on Instagram at Forster Consultants as well as Facebook. And every Monday night at 6 p.m., they actually go live on YouTube at Forster Consultants and I follow them there as well. So you mean to tell me my dream of becoming this housing provider that I've always dreamt of is closer than I realized? And again, you're telling me I don't need a license and I don't have to own the property. Absolutely. You do not have to own the property. You don't have to be a nurse. You don't have to be a CNA. And you can get started as soon as tomorrow. Click the link below for more information. All right. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So David and Dennis, man, they're going to drop some knowledge on you. That guy, Dennis, man, he, he's really sharp. He's really smart. I got David. He's a knucklehead and he don't really pay attention, but Dennis just keep pouring it to him. So, <laughs> so hopefully you guys are enjoying that kind of stuff. Um, your wife said it's like pad split, but better and purpose driven. So that's kind of what I started with too, Uriah. So Uriah literally kind of summed up what I said earlier when, when people ask like, what is the difference between this and a group home or, or a rooming house or just somebody that just rents rooms? This is more purpose driven. It's more of a ministry. That's the word that I keep using. And I often give the example, and I say it again, man, imagine a business or a job that you're doing and the blessing of God, the financial blessing is already tied into it because of what you're doing. So again, guys, we're literally doing God's will and we're doing it through real estate. So again, I always make these same two phrases again. The Bible says the poor and needy will always be among us. And it also asks us and, to, and implore us to the poor and the needy should be taken care of by us, the poor, the needy, and the widow. And again, if I can figure out a way to go and rent or lease a property that I don't have to buy, I'm going to get a bunch of people together like what's in this picture to tell people about it. Most people that are in this picture right here 
are social workers, case managers, and church leadership. The lady and the gentleman that's holding the ribbon is the brother of the gentleman I dedicated this house to. The first client God ever gave us and entrusted us with, I housed him for a, a good, good little while. Unfortunately, he was actually killed by a drunk driver. He was out walking one day, minding his own business. Drunk driver ran him over, kept driving. He meant so much to us and my program that this facility, 5609, that's dedicated after him. Guess whose picture is on the wall big when you walk in the door? Him. And his family gave me permission to do it. One of the most heartwarming things that I've ever done in this ministry was to dedicate a house to the first guy that started all of this. So everybody that moves in that house, no matter how comfortable these beds are, no matter where they've been before, it all goes back to the guy that we dedicated this house to. So this house was called the Glen Lake 3 Obed Gonzalez house. That was his name. So every guy, again, that moves in this place, they understand that this guy is the reason why you're here. Because if he never made it, or if he never was the first client, none of you guys ever come here because that means for me, it didn't work. Genius, heartfelt, and a good, noble thing to do all in one. Okay? Word of mouth, as you can probably barely see it in there, that's a big way in terms of how we get that done. How we get the word out. My big mouth, just keep talking about it. And then when people ask me, Derek, how do you get the property for people to just give you their property to rent, to rent multiple people? For years, we never talked about it. We never told people and you had to have our coaching. Now I put it in a book. So not only do you get an ebook, but you also get a role play of me and my big brother. Still, my brother giving y'all value. Otis and I are literally giving y'all a live role play of what this sounds like and what it looks like to speak to a social worker, a case manager, and probably more importantly, the homeowner. So sometimes people that just write a book and say, hey, read this book. And books are great if the information's in it. We went one step further and we gave you the book, but I actually give you the actual role play. I tell you what to say, what not to say, and probably kind of sort of really important, what to wear. You need to be branded, not wearing your favorite pink shirt that day. So everything you need to know in terms of how to get the property is in this book. It's called The Pursuit of Purpose and Profit. And there's that word again. Uriah, purpose. Who said that purpose can't be tied up in profit? Who said that that your profit can't be tied up in purpose? Mm. Angela just put in the, in, in the chat, what to wear is very important. Angela set up an appointment for us to walk into just here, what, Angela, not even five days ago, six days ago, and all of us was pretty much branded. Now, I'll admit, I kind of wasn't. That was the first, because Usually my rule of thumb is, y'all, like if I'm going to a place for the first time, I, I wear a button-up shirt and a blazer. But most times, I'm in some kind of polo, T-shirt. And I just told Shay last week, I said, Shay, I got to get some of my blazers embroidered. Because if it's a first time, I go pretty dressed up, like how you guys kind of see me today. But Angela also had on her branded shirt, the Clarissa Project. Type that in the chat, Angela, and tell them what they do. But Angela set up the appointment as an HRA, as a housing referral agency, and Shay and I walked in the door. So it's basically like Angela opened the door for me and Shay. That, that's kind of the concept. The HRA means Angela called this place and built a beautiful relationship with this lady. She's running the VA Intensive Outpatient Case Management, and she's the director. So Angela ain't talking to little people. He got the highest lady in the chain other than the guy that built the dat gun place. And Angela basically opened the door and said, Sherry, Shay and Derek, walk in because you guys have the housing. Let's partner. That's what the HRA is, guys. Join us every Saturday to learn that. Hopefully, Angela comes back Saturday and tell you how she's doing it. Angela, right now, today, don't have houses, but she's got a bunch of relationships. And she's leveraging people like me that have the house. So every person Angela sends me, Angela's going to have a hand out just like this. Derek, send me my referral fee. I'm going to say, yes, ma'am. How you want it? Zelle, Venmo, cash out, or you want me to bring it to you? Because that's how we do that. She's not working for free, y'all. She got a program, too. It's called the Clarissa Project. 
She also takes people from homeless to hopeful. She's also got her own slogan. I just keep saying that. But notice how she leverages us. But one day, because Angela's got this book, she's going to get her own property. This is what to say to the homeowner, what to say to the landlord, and probably what not to say is also most important. Connecting with social workers and case managers, guys, is the funnel to this whole thing. Without social workers, substance abuse centers, social workers again, social workers, social workers and case managers and social workers, where are you going to get these people from? Now, today, I'll admit, I get people from just Walmart, Publix, Kroger, the mall, the gas station, because I'm going to put flyers everywhere. I think Shay just joined us too. Hey, Shay. Cold emails. Hey, cold. I'm going to put flyers on everybody's windshield when I go to the store. The things that embarrass Shay, I'm going to do all of that. I'm going to put the flyers by the pork and beans, by the bacon, by the steak, by the pork chops, by the liver. Shay hates liver, y'all. I'm going to put it by the condensed milk. I'm going to put it by the coffee creamer. Why are you telling on me tonight? I'm going to put it by the bakery. I like liver. That's just random, but put in the chat if you like liver or if you hate it. I like liver. <laughs> That's random, too. I'm picking on Shay, y'all, because she hate it, and everybody else around us love it. Anyway, but this is how we're connecting and how we're creating the funnel system. So when I get asked, Derek, how are you getting these people? Where are they coming from, Derek? Right here. And because I'm I'm not afraid to run my big mouth, this is what I'm talking about. I provide a clean, safe, affordable environment for adults who are able to live and thrive without the need for staff and or medical oversight. And this is what it looks like in terms of furnishing it, which I'm also not going to buy brand new. Nothing that I've showed y'all yet, y'all, is brand new other than the sheets, the pillow, the pillowcase, and the comforter. Everything else is gently used, guys. I don't buy this furniture brand new. Look how great this place looks. This house was actually a six-bedroom, four-bath on a lake. I don't have this house anymore. This was a house on the lake, ladies and gentlemen. Look how great that furniture looks. Those tables and chairs, that came from a hotel that saw us, Ritzy Luxury, on TikTok. And said, I see what you guys are doing in the community. Great work. We got a lot of furniture we getting ready to throw away, Derek. Do you want it? Ritzy Luxury is a lady. Thank you for telling me. But Ritzy Luxury, this is exactly what we do. You probably thought you needed a license to do this. Also put in the chat, what city and state you're from, sister? What area are you in? And just let us know, did you think you needed a license to do this? Because I did. Even as a social worker, I thought I needed a license. But what I needed was a relationship. I needed social workers and case managers that begged me for this. Here's a quote that I kind of often like to say, right? Procrastination is the arrogant assumption that God will give you more time for something he's already told you to act on. Lord have mercy. That's powerful. I'm going to say that one more time. Because I don't want you guys to procrastinate on an opportunity that can change your life and the trajectory of even your community. This ain't all about you, remember? This is also about your community and the need of the community. The need for this is so great, it's crazy. That's why it works anywhere in all 50 states. Because the homelessness problem is everywhere. So guys, don't procrastinate because really what that is, it's an arrogant assumption that God will give you more time for something he's already told you to act on. Most of y'all, if you're in this room, God already told you you should be doing something like this or you wouldn't probably be here. Because if nothing else, you love God, you probably love people, and you probably love real estate. Ritzy Luxury, I'm going to assume you love real estate. That's probably what caught your eye about this room. So again, guys, let's not procrastinate because, again, that's an arrogant assumption. And who are we to assume that? God already told you to act on it. Most of y'all, God already told you that you're supposed to be helping and housing people. Some of y'all, he just said help. And you didn't really know what that meant. Some of y'all feeding people right now out your kitchen. Great thing to do. Some of y'all are clothing people. That's a great thing to do. But what if we could add that one more element, which is the most important? 
somebody told me that it's that uh what is it Maslow's hierarchy of needs that whole psychology thing you need a roof over your head ladies and gentlemen we believe in second chance housing that if we get housing first right if we get that right everything else can fall into line they can reconnect with family they can get off of drugs they can get back into the church all of the things that you would naturally kind of sort of want them to get back into, they can get back into all that now once the foundation is established. Let's take a break and we'll be right back. Hey, what's going on, family? I super hope you guys are enjoying this information. But let's just say you want more one-on-one -on -one coaching just like what you're receiving now. You're actually looking for our ILF Mastery Blueprint. So that's our hand-holding one-on-one coaching where that's what most of the people that come to us, that's what they want. They don't want to just watch me on YouTube all the time, right? They want me in their back pocket for one-on-one -on -one coaching. And what's super powerful about it right now that there's a scholarship that's actually available that brings that down to only $7,500 a long ways from the normal price of the 15 grand so even doing this live right now if you guys text imb below my team can send you over some information but nevertheless definitely go over and see force consultants.com and check us out there as well let's get back to the show all right good stuff good stuff so again thank y'all so much for being here i super appreciate it i'm gonna check the chat let me see if i have any other questions any other concerns also if you're new to us don't forget we just re released this crazy crazy deal um in reverence of holy week but also just to say thank you and just say we appreciate you all as well my team handpicked 15 people to send a crazy discounted ilf mastery blueprint deal to um, and I want to extend that. So if you're in this room, only for people that are in this live and in this room, and maybe somebody that may catch the replay, but I want to respect the people that are here. If you guys want to be a part of that, text the word Easter to 407-326-0086, and my team can send you the information to be a part of that crazy deal. So remember, guys, our one-on-one -on -one coaching is 15 grand, but there's a scholarship that cuts it down to 7,500. But literally, with uh, the next 10 to, well, I think it's 10 to 14 days, my team handpicked 15 people, and that price is only $59.97, right? So a little under six grand, guys, for our ILF Mastery Blueprint. And if you go to forcedconsultants.com slash IMB, you can see all of the things that are involved in it. My accountant's involved in it. We give you a free virtual assistant. Every course, every curriculum that we've ever made and created, every ebook, you get it and the one-on-one -on -one coaching and the business coaching and we build your website so again guys all of that is complimentary again for only 5997 that's a long way from that 15 grand guys again that's the cheat code and that's a no-brainer again if you want that text the word easter to 407 326 0086 and this is right here just to show the lady that just kind of takes in again what does it look like this right here, not rocket science. This is called a shared room accommodation, right? So again, normally that's going to be two beds per room. Excuse me. Yeah, two beds per room for us. Sometimes it can have a headboard. Sometimes it don't. Don't need it. The two beds are most important. And what's new in this bedroom is that pillow, the pillowcase, the comforter, and the sheets. That pillow, I mean, excuse me, the towel and the washcloth, also brand new. Everything else gently used means that mattress, box spring, headboard, uh, bed rails, all of that stuff is gently used. Same thing here. All of this stuff came from a hotel except the pillow, pillowcase, comforter, sheets. That stuff's brand new from Walmart. So if you're wondering where we buy this stuff from, Walmart. Everything else donated. That lamp, donated. That dresser, donated. Those headboards, donated. Same thing in this picture, guys. Everything is gently used except what is your test now? The pillow, the pillowcase, the comforter. Can I get five people to do a thumbs up on just this picture alone? Because, because again, this is a room that's so big, it's got three beds in it. Half of this room you guys can't even see because it's so big. It's got its own bathroom, double closet, shower, double vanity, separate toilet. So again, give me a thumbs up, man, if this is something that you think you guys can do. Give me five people that as I'm speaking this and as you've been with me for about, what, 
45 to 50 minutes or so. Is this something you think you can do? Put a thumbs up. Facebook, Instagram, Clubhouse. In fact, if you're on Clubhouse, make sure that you guys are coming over to the live on YouTube. But if this is something you think you can do, Miss Sonya, give me a thumbs up in, in, in the chat. Brenda, Miss Sonya, Natasha, you all are over on uh, Clubhouse. Click that link at the top and come to YouTube. That way you can see all these beautiful pictures and all the examples. And you can share the comments with all the other people. But yeah, throw me some thumbs up in the chat or something. Because I just want to know who thinks that they can do this. Because to me, this isn't rocket science. Getting the right people is what makes this smooth selling. Getting the wrong people. And that's why one of the teachings and one of the most important part of our teaching is that assessment. How do we get the right people? How do we avoid the knucklehead? How do we avoid the guy that want to use drugs and alcohol? How do we avoid the guy that want to bring his girlfriend to stay the night? Because none of that's allowed in my place. Okay? And not in your place either when you start yours. <laughs> so Ms. Ritzy Luxury says, at first I didn't know, but came across you all on Clubhouse a few years ago. Okay, perfect, perfect. So she's been knowing us on Clubhouse. Perfect. I was still iffy, but God put it on my heart heavy today and I came searching for the info all today. Good stuff. So we hope that You've learned something even today, but I would love to become your coach. And again, lucky for anybody that's here, because again, this is not being offered anywhere outside. The 15 people that got it in their emails and their text messages and today from my team, congratulations. But if you're on this live, including you, Miss Ritzy, even though you're, you're hearing this for the first time, if you want that Holy Week sale, that sale that we're doing for like the next 10 to 14 days that goes even beyond the scholarship, you just need to type in the word Easter or text it to uh, 407-326-0086 and you also can be a part of that. So now that is only 5997 So instead of the fifteen grand, instead of the 7500 which is a crazy great deal, guys, for 5997 for under six grand, this is an absolute no-brainer. The one-on-one -on -one coaching, all the group coaching, all the recorded coaching, you get my accountant. I give you a free virtual assistant. We, we give you a free website that my team is going to build for you. One-on-one -on -one coaching again. I'm in your back pocket. I'm not going to give you 55 videos and say, good luck. I hope you make it. That's how our coaching goes. So again, Risky Luxury, that's something that you want. To, anybody that's here, just shoot that text over to that number, and we'll be glad to see you over that information. But thank you so much for following back up and following your heart. Because again, if God told you to do it, it don't take me to tell you this. My job is to give the message. I'm just a messenger, right? He says, and you happen to be live today. So again, we call it God's timing. <laughs> I have nothing to do with that because guess what? I'm going to come here every Monday at 6 p.m. This doesn't change for me regardless because I made a promise to God. I said, God, if you make this work for me, especially after he showed me that lady that was making 41 grand a month. Can you imagine, Ritzy Luxury, how that made me feel as a social worker making 28 grand a year? And I was doing all the work. I was sending her all the clients. She says, Derek, I'll never teach you how to do this, but look what I make doing it. She took her phone out and just started scrolling. I'll never forget that day. And I'll admit, that wasn't even the biggest day. Now, I'll admit, to see that she was making 41 grand a month versus my 28 grand a year, that was, was big. But what was real big for me, because if you've been around me long enough, you should know what was real big. The day that she says, Derek, I don't own these places. Lord, have mercy. Listen, Luxury, when she said that, that's what unveiled everything. And that's when God started to just give it to me. Because I was like, wow, I don't have to buy this place. I don't need a license. Obviously not, because she's doing it in rats and roaches and make 41 grand a month doing it. Now, here's some group participation, because I used to ask the, 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 this question. If you made $41,000 every 28 to 31 days every month, would that change your life a little bit? Type the word yes if that's you. Now, if you make over that and that's pennies to you, great. But I'm going to actually be the, be, be, be the first one. Because when I saw that, I nearly fainted. If you made $41,000 a month doing the thing that you've always dreamed of doing, would that change your life just a little bit? That's just my question to everybody. And ma'am, they asked about that private room. This is it, that private suite. 
That's an actual bathroom for that actual room. Like that's real. In fact, that's Shay's um house. That house that Shay just bought, and it used to be a rental for us many years ago, but now we own it. That's Shay's bathroom for the Angela Denise Foundation. So Shay's gonna be taking, uh, I think it's eight women, seven women in total, from homeless to hopeful. Yep. And Shay's, uh, let me see if I if I can get it right. Shay's, let me see what is it. Shay, what is it? She's here. Shay, what do you live by? What is your um your um not mission statement, but what is your oh my god, I'm stumbling. Not quote, not saying, but what is your y'all help me? I'm trying to think of it. Lending a helping hand. Like what? Yeah, my slogan. Slogan. That's the word. Yeah. I was Lending a blame. helping hand when it's needed most. Yeah. Yeah. So the, we're we're there when when you need us most, right? Um, if we can't house you, we we literally help you some way or another by whether it's giving resources or whatever we can do to make your life easier, right? Um, or better in the sense of providing housing or or needs. So that's what we do at the Angela Denise Foundation. Good stuff. Shay, read what's on the screen now from Miss Joanne. That's fine. Y'all can have that foolishness. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Joanne, I wasn't Joanne. On nobody's liver, and I don't want it neither. No way. She said y'all can have that foolishness. Angela, do you eat liver, Angela? Liver and onions? L Angela said no. She Janelle with me. Said no too, or just Angela? Let me see what. No, Angela did say that. Rich loves you. Do you eat? Now, Rich loves you from 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 Georgia. Do you eat liver and onions, Miss Ritzy? <laughs> is your mama in the chat because she might need to come make you some liver and onions my mama love it my mama love it Risa says yes I heard you tell that story about the lady on your YouTube video today and I was like wow and she had roaches was the easy part she had rats running in right. and out of the cabinet exactly that was some food like roaches was the small part to kind of what she had going on and then the other sad part was that she had people that was like li literally like living in squalor like beds were on the floor. There were no bed rails per se. A lot there were no mattresses. Me, and there were no sheets. Exactly, no sheets, no bed rails. Like just, I mean, sad stuff. But I'll never forget it when she showed me them forty-one grand a month. Like that's what broke my heart because I didn't know that until I went and spied on her place. Um, and that's how I kind of found out. Um, because nobody would teach it to me as the social worker. So I took a Saturday and um, I just kind of went and looked for myself. And that's kind of the story I tell people that that's what started it, it all. Um, I wanted to do it and nobody would teach me. So one Saturday I just went, I said, man, you know what, Derek, dummy, Derek, you know, all the addresses, bro, just go. <laughs> and some of the stuff that we, we saw, like even example, like I tried my best to cut this guy's face off, but this was one of her places. Um, this place had the roaches and the rats. The second picture was all like back to that first one, just real quick. That one in that room, even the way she allowed her people to live, this guy was diabetic in his room all over the floor. The dresser, the mm -hmm. closet yep. were used exposed needles. I remember that razor blades, medication all over the place. If you go into one of my places and medication all over the floor and Oh my God, like I trip out over that. She didn't care. So all of her people live like this. Now he at least had a comforter on that bed. But most of her rooms, there were three mattresses stacked, just stacked up high. No sheets, no pillow, no pillowcase, no bed rails, no comforter. Just a bare mattress as roaches are running in and out of it. Right? So that's kind of what started all of this, you all. And um, when she showed me that she was making that kind of money, and trust me, we always tell people, don't get in this for the money. And believe me, y'all, I wanted to make some money. I wanted to better my life. But y'all remember, I was a social worker anyway, so I always wanted to help people. So I tell people, man, if you got patience and if you generally love people and you love God and got patience, because this is a population that we're serving that's already at a vulnerable place, kind of, sort of, right? Depending on what their mental health diagnosis is. Our job is to make the road easy now, not cause any further danger. Do no further harm. I think as a doctor, they take that oath that's kind of like that quote. 
like my job is to make their life better, guys, not harder. Bringing somebody that was already living in squalor and on the street to something like this, that's just simply not fair. So unsafe, improper, unsanitary. These are the words that kind of come to mind when we're talking about that lady and, and, and a lot of just simply what I saw. So now when social workers and case managers see what we provide, guys, I'm a no brainer. Because again, most social workers, and that's why I'm telling you guys, listen to this next statement. Most people do this so wrong, the wrong way that when you guys get into it, you're going to be a no brainer. Because if you do it, the forced consultants model in our way, you're going to stick out like a sore thumb in a good way. Because everybody, well, everybody's a big statement, Derek. There's a lot of people that do this so wrong, the wrong way that again, when you do it, you're going to seem like the no brainer. Hey, what's going on, family? I super hope you guys are enjoying this information. But let's just say you want more one on one coaching, just like what you're receiving now. You're actually looking for our ILF Mastery Blueprint. So that's our hand holding one on one coaching, where that's what most of the people that come to us, that's what they want. They don't want to just watch me on YouTube all the time, right? They want me in their back pocket for one on one coaching. And what's super powerful about it right now that there's a scholarship that's actually available that brings that down to only $7,500 a long ways from the normal price of the 15 grand. So even doing this live right now, if you guys text IMB below, my team can send you over some information. But nevertheless, definitely go over and see forcedconsultants.com and check us out there as well. Let's get back to the show. All right, good stuff. Miss Shea, do you want to jump in on, on anything while you're here? I'm not sure if you're still in your other meeting, but if you want to jump in and introduce yourself real quick, there are some new people that may not know you. I just want to say, Ritzy, Ritzy Luxury is is fine and cool with me. She don't have to have that that old living either. <laughs> Angela um, says, no, my granny made it every Saturday, and she still hates it to, to this day. So Angela said no, too. <laughs> I heard that. Thank you. Thank y'all, wonderful ladies. <laughs> um, Janine, no, do you? I didn't ask Janine. Hey, Jay, do you eat liver and onions and no, rice? And I don't know. What is up with you with liver? And, are you hungry? Maybe I, I am hungry, but maybe I got a taste for liver today. I think I'm going to call your mama. I don't I'm cook call that foolishness. I'm going to call his mama, <laughs> y'all. No, but um, really quickly. So my name is Shay Forston, Shania Shea Forston, president and founder of the Angela Denise Foundation, co-founder here at Forston Consultants, Digital Flow Solutions, VA 101, and all the other businesses we have. Um, uh, today, I had the opportunity to meet with one of my international partners. So that's why I'm late, Derek. That meeting went really, really, really well. Cool, good. Um, good. A lot of things that they had to get signed off and completed is, are, are done um, but I am, again, I'm a housing provider just as Derek is. And I do the, I house women that have been through traumatic experiences, i.e. human and sex trafficking, domestic violence, um, you know, other just chronic homelessness. And I do that through a nonprofit organization, a nonprofit 501c3 model. Um, and, and again, it's no different from what Derek does in regards to the structure, the, the setup of the actual home, the rules, the, the regulations, how I manage my homes are pretty much exactly 100% the same as Derek does. Uh, the only difference is, again, my structure, my actual entity structure, and it's not mine. It belongs to the community that I serve, right? Um, the I am literally just the founder of the nonprofit organization, and I allow the community to tell me what the needs are, and my community has buy-in. So again, that's the difference between Derek and myself. Uh, Derek gets to spend his money however he pleases. And I don't get that luxury. I do have to take it to my board of directors. And we have conversations on what programs, what things are we going to in initiate or, you know, um, introduce for that upcoming year to help uh, the community that we serve. So that's literally the difference between Derek and myself in regards to the housing model. And it's just entity type. And um, some of y'all, beautiful women, may be getting emails from me. No, I don't see them. Um, as I am in the process, I don't see none of my board members in here today. Um, but we're in the 
in the process of, again, redoing our board, setting up different structure, doing new things for the Angela Denise Foundation as, as we have acquired a property now. So things look a little different for my board of directors and we, we have to sit down and meet and discuss that to where if Derek buys a property and utilizes it for an ILF, he just does what he wants and he don't have to answer to nobody, but I do. So like they have to be okay with the rental rates. They have to know what the spending, you know, what the overhead is on this house to make sure that we're utilizing our funds appropriately. So again, that's a little bit about me, a little bit about the Angela Denise Foundation. Um, I am here to answer any questions you may have and just let me know how I can help. Right. Good stuff. Good stuff. So it looks like Janine says no to the liver. <laughs> Thank so, you, Janine. So I'm like you, Janine. I hated it as a kid. So I got grown, grown, grown before I start liking it. So I'm, you know, I'll just say 42. I ain't afraid to say my age. I'm 42. I probably started eating liver uh, probably five years ago, six, six years ago, maybe. I don't think it's, it's been, been 10. It, so I'm it, kind of new. Mm -hmm. I think I'm new to it, but now I love it. I love it now, but hated it as a kid, but I love it now. I'm going to say 10 years, Shay. I'm going to be so me, Janine, so Janine, myself, Angela, and Ritzy will give y'all our, our portion. So y'all have... Y'all going to go to Ruth Chris. Just take me, Joanne, and uh, who, who else in there? Is you and Joanne alone on that land? Me, me and Joanne going to Mom Forston house. Mama just go right on the head. Liver, onions, and, and some butter rice and all that other stuff. Go right on the head. <laughs> Guys, I don't know how we got on eating level. But anyway, Shay, thank you so much for introducing yourself and telling people who you are. But ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it for me. We usually end these rooms around 7.30. I just want to make sure that I answered all questions. So I'm going to check the chat one more time. But pretty much, again, I'm going to pretend that everybody just joined us and I'll do a quick recap. If you ever thought about running a group home, or some kind of housing program, but you thought you needed a license, you don't. And that's the independent living facility model where you can house the homeless and the displaced or anybody that has a guaranteed income. They don't have to be homeless per se, as meaning the poor guy that's living under the bridge. It can be a guy that works at Sonny's Barbecue, McDonald's, Burger King, or Outback Steakhouse, but they can't afford to get their own house or their own apartment. So when they find out, that maybe they can rent their own private room like this, I become a no-brainer or you become a no-brainer when you start your own program. And again, this works in all 50 states, no license required. And if you're not blessed enough to buy a property, you guys can go out and rent this place. That's exactly how I started as a poor social worker making 28 grand a year. I borrowed all the money to rent my first place, probably the second one too. And then eventually I had up to like 12 rentals. It came back down to about six. Then it went to a spot to where we're buying real estate now. So eventually you want to get to a point where no more renting, right? Where sometimes things happen so fast. Like right now, we just bought a property. They really ain't even put all the furniture in it yet. And it's full in terms of who's going to live in it. And all of my housing now is becoming full. So guess what? I need another one. Can I buy a property that fast? Naturally? Without God, uh, not really, but I can rent one real fast. I can lease one tomorrow. So I'm not against renting or leasing. It's just that I desire to buy now. But again, if you can buy, great, do it. Because we also are lenders. So we loan anywhere from 80 grand to $80 million in, in real estate. I'm a commercial broker. So is Shay. It's called qualifiedcircle.com. Qualified, past tense circle.com so if you want to fix and flip bridge loan buying whole rental loans or if you have an active business that's already making money three to five grand a month i can give you a business loan or a business line of credit we do all of that some of y'all don't know that some of y'all do so again when you're ready to buy real estate you can also go through us okay so again guys hey Derek. the myth okay go ahead I just wanted to make sure because I know I'm late. I see some questions in that were starred. Did you go through those? I think I did. Let's see. Let's bring them up. Let me see. Well, this could, yep, answer the one about the transitional living. 
Um, I let's see, would it work for a mentally individuals who require medication management? I answered that one. Okay. Can you do this with tiny homes? Yep. So yep, got them all. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I just I think you actually starred those for me, right? Unless nope. Alex did. So Probably Alex. Alex. How do you avoid squatters? Did you do that one? I sure did. Awesome. All right, good, good stuff. I want Alex to introduce himself real quick before we leave. He don't have to turn on his camera, but hey Alex, are you there, big bro? I don't see him on stage. Hold on. Let me see if I can add my guy. Hey, what's going on, Alex? How you doing, big bro? You muted if you're talking, Alex. All right, can you hear me? Yep. Hey, what's going on, Alex? How you doing tonight? I'm doing great. Thank you very much. Hi, everyone. Um, so just I'm just going to introduce myself. My name is Alex Chuku. Yeah, my name is Alex Chuku from um, Nigeria. I'm a virtual assistant to Foston Consultants and Digital Flow Solution. And I'm also the live session assistant to Mr. Derek and Ms. Shea. Um, what I do for Foston Consultants is that I help them um, to build out customizable website, optimizable websites for businesses of all sizes and niches. And I also help them um, to build out automation for their different businesses um, in order to streamline the business processes and also um, help other VAs, you know, to, to assist their clients using our, our CRM system, which is Digital Flow Solutions. Good stuff, good stuff. So, guys, that is my virtual assistant, Alex, just like you heard him say. And, and without Alex, it's hard for us to run some of our businesses because of how techy he is. So every Tuesday, that's what we talk about, virtual assistants, that they're the cheat code to everything that we do. So a lot of even what happened tonight, guys, Alex was in charge of a lot of this stuff tonight. I'm just good at coming on here running my big mouth. But Alex does a lot of the things that are behind the scenes. As you heard him say, he's a part of our website creation business, Digital Flow Solutions, VA 101, and Forster Consultants. And he's my live session assistant anytime that we go live on any forum. So you all need a virtual assistant, right? If you got a business or a business idea, we all need some help because I guarantee you that all of you all have a job. You guys got businesses. A lot of you guys have family, right? So again, the cheat code to life and business is having a great virtual assistant that can start as low as $5 an hour. But also the cheat code is having a great software system that runs your business, meaning your actual website, your CRM system. How do you manage your customers how do you deal with and communicate with your customers how do you send out your social media all from one platform that's what digitalflowsolutions.net is so alex if you can do me a favor when these nice people get done tonight they can check out digitalflowsolutions.net and get their website built for only 97 dollars right so that's the cheat code to us because just here months ago a premium website was 900 and a basic website was 600 but now since we totally reformatted everything and we're really good at it now, we're killing all the competition. So now your premium website is only $97. And now you pick a plan in terms of what do you want that website to do? So join us tomorrow at 6 p.m. right here again. And that's exactly what we talk about. Virtual assistants and how they're the cheat code to life and business. But we also talk about digital flow solutions, which is what we think is the best CRM system in the world to run your business no matter what you do so regardless if you fry chicken and you sell it from your house or if you bake chocolate chip cookies and you have a bakery or if you're a consultant we all need a website presence and a footprint on the internet and that starts with digital flow solutions because we're going to build your website and we're going to help you with your internet presence meaning your social media your google reviews and all of that stuff that makes you rank very high in google so again Thank y'all so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm getting ready to close. I don't see any more questions, Miss Shay. So I think I'm going to go ahead and close it down. And again, don't forget, guys, if you want to take part in that ILF Mastery Blueprint in terms of that one-on-one -on -one coaching, that crazy sale that we're only doing for this week is just to reverence Holy Week. And it's also to just give a big thank you back to you all for always tuning in, always being around and sharing the information. We appreciate that. So our way of giving back is to also discount that IMB again. So instead of it being the 7,500 on the scholarship, 
we're dropping that to 5997 which is under $6,000. And that, again, guys, is an absolute cheat code in terms of getting our one-on-one -on -one coaching. Because, again, that's a long way from that fifteen grand. But nevertheless, join us every Monday at 6 p.m. We teach it for absolutely free. Bring all of your questions. Also, join us every Tuesday at 6 p.m. where we talk about Digital Flow Solutions, the best CRM system and website creator. But also, we talk about virtual assistants and how they're the cheat code and what you're missing from your business. And then every Saturday, we teach you guys how to house the homeless and the displaced or, you know, those same stable adults, but you don't need the property, right? You don't have to buy a property. You don't have to rent a property. We teach you how to be a housing referral agency. And again, that simply means that you're going to become the liaison between you, the housing provider, and the person that's calling for the housing. And you're going to merge those two people together. You're going to make a referral. And that, again, is how you get a referral fee and you still take people from homeless to hopeful. And you also make an impact and an income at the same time. So, Dennis, in this independent living facility model, right, which I'll call ILFs, what kind of residents can I house in this kind of model? David, that's a great question. And that's actually what makes the ILF model so great is because it's flexible. So, prime example, you can house military veterans, elderly adults, women that are escaping domestic violence, and the list goes on and on and on. So, Dennis, where do you get your residents from? I see you guys on TikTok and Facebook, you guys getting all of these houses. Like, where in the world are you getting these people from? Yeah, that's actually pretty easy. Um, Forster Consultants teaches us to use social media such as Instagram, Facebook, to let people know who we are, what we do. But probably most importantly, who do we serve? And we do that very consistently. So every day, seven days a week, there's something being posted about what we do and who we serve but also building relationships with social workers and case managers. Again, letting them know who we are, what we do, and most importantly with them, that we're available. Dennis, how in the world are you able to do this without a license, bro? David, remember the reason why we don't need a license, because remember, the clients that we serve, they're independent. So that means that they can take their own medications, they can provide their own transportation, and they can cook and provide their own food. Dennis, man, you seem to know a lot about this independent living stuff, man. How do you know so much? Well, first of all, I graduated from Forster Consultants University, and I have a master's degree in independent living facilities, and I joined the Forster crew every Monday on YouTube at 6 p.m. Eastern. They go live, and that guy, Derek, man, he give the game away, so I'm always there. So, Dennis, what in the world are the requirements to get started with something like this? The only requirement for this, David, is a big heart for God his people, and the love for real estate. That's it. And bro, don't think I ain't listening because I am listening. But where can I find more information like this at, man? Because I I really want to get started, man. David, if I were you, I'd follow Derek Forston on Facebook and TikTok. And then I'd follow Forston Consultants on everything else in terms of Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. Again, really slowly, David, because you're hard-headed. I'd follow Derek Forston at Facebook on his personal page. I'd follow him on TikTok but I will also follow Forston Consultants on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Don't forget, David. Hey, Dennis, man, I really appreciate that, man. I'm going to do exactly what you told me to do. I'm going to follow Forston Consultants on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook. No problem, David. That's actually what I'm here for. And by the All right, you heard the guy. Follow Forston Consultants on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ever ask a thing, according to the power that worketh in us. You guys be great. Don't wait to be great. And we'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern at Forsted Consultants on YouTube.